You guys, this was one of the best meals we had on our entire trip through the Dominican Republic. And today, I am going to show you how to get there because it's a little complicated. Where to now? An off-the-beaten path hidden gem restaurant located in Cabarete, Dominican Republic. Wilson's La Boca restaurant is more than just a restaurant. It's an experience not to be missed, especially if you're a foodie like us. Getting there can be a bit challenging, I'm not gonna lie, but luckily for you, Wilson himself made it a point to add detailed instructions on Google Maps. From Kite Beach, Wilson's La Boca is only a 21-minute car drive. We're heading to Rio Jessica and from there, taking a small boat across the river to the restaurant. This is what your drive will look like. We did everything Google Maps told us to do and we got there just fine. What makes the drive a little bit more difficult in my opinion is that you're not driving on a paved street but more of a dirt road. And it's full of holes and there are no signs so you really don't know where you're going. But eh, you know, if you're up for the challenge, in my opinion, that adds more to the excitement and adventure of finding Wilson's restaurant. Some common thoughts we had when we were doing this drive were, oh my god, we're so lost, I don't think it's this way, I have no idea where I am or where I'm going, but believe me, just chill, trust Google Maps, and just keep on going. And also, if you see a friendly person on the road, ask. Everybody knows where this restaurant is. So we just arrived at the edge of the river called La Boca, which is where the restaurant gets its name. And this is where we're going to be parking the car right behind the horses and it's safe to leave your car here. I was so surprised to see so many kite surfers at this river. Jessica River is a great place to learn kite surfing if it's your first time and the environment is a bit more controlled than the open sea. And I honestly want to come back and just learn how to kite surf because it looks so cool and the winds are just so perfect here for that. So uh, you'll be cruising along the kite surfers through the river to get to the restaurant. Cabarete is known as one of the top places in the world for kite surfing due to its consistent thermal winds. We have finally arrived at Wilson's La Boca restaurant. I recommend visiting this restaurant on a half day trip or allowing a minimum of three hours to fully enjoy the experience. This includes the drive over, of course. This can also very easily turn into a full day trip if you add some kite surfing lessons or tubing along the river. Let's go behind the scenes and see how it's all made. Wilson uses a more traditional approach to Dominican cuisine, utilizing carbón y leña, which gives the food an authentic old-school Dominican taste. This cooking method is very popular in the countryside in the Dominican Republic. We also got the chance to meet and chat with Wilson. He's mostly always at his restaurant, so chances are you'll meet him too if you visit. And I also got to learn some Dominican cooking tips. And after all that cooking, now it's time to eat because I am hungry just watching this video. Um, this was our meal. We ordered the platter with everything, which I recommend you do if you uh, go to this restaurant. It's perfect to share between two people and it's delicious. You get to try a little bit of everything. Our platter included two fried fish, shrimp, lobster, and lambi, which is conch. It's um, very tr conch is traditionally eaten in the Caribbean and especially in Dominican public so you can try that for the first time if you haven't our dish also came with a homemade sauce on the side and a side of moro de guandules fried eggplant patata and tostones thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and also share with a foodie friend so they find a new place to eat at next week we're going to be traveling to the northern part of the dominican republic and visiting punta rusia so stay tuned for that till next time